Jeff Gersman. Hello, Dan Reichert. Now, you are uh, well known for being a longtime fan of Donald Duck, correct? Yeah, yes. Right? right. Absolutely. I'm right. a huge Donald Duck head. Yeah, yeah. What color is those duck heads? Yeah, duck heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got the tattoo and everything. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know much about Donald Duck outside of uh, DuckTales, but that was a, a relatively new show. In the grand scheme of uh, Disney things, yes, absolutely. Not like DuckTales new this fall. It's a huge yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a modern thing in the grand scheme of, yes, the, of the Disney Donald universe. Duck. You know, it's no Donald Duck orange juice. I mean, that's that was the thing. Oh yeah, Donald Duck orange juice. Mm-hmm. Is that like around the time of Ecto Cooler and things like that? Well, it was probably before that. Okay, all yeah. right. But uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can still get a Donald Duck orange juice. It was not great orange juice. I'm trying to see if this controller is working here. Okay, there we go. Uh, so anyway, Donald Duck, the thing I uh, associate the most with is uh, Quackshot. This is yeah. a game developed and published by Sega uh, for the Genesis. This came out in 91, mm-hmm. so I think I was like seven and I got this for Christmas. Okay. I have never had an affinity for uh, Disney or Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck or yeah. any of those characters. But I just thought this was a real cool game at the time. Granted, when you're seven, you know, you don't have a grand scheme of things to compare it to. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they were definitely, you know, like, those Mickey Mouse games on the Genesis were incredible. Like Castle of Illusion was a, just a fantastic game. So is that the one Jaffe was on? That might have been that one. If not, if it wasn't that one, it was World maybe. But yeah, and like that was an amazing game. So like you know, seeing like more Disney coming out of you know Sega coming to the Genesis, there I think there was a you know they had built up a little bit of credibility. You're like, okay, all right, yeah, a, little, a little bit of that stuff would be be cool. Yeah, it seemed like an interesting, like, exclusive thing to be on a console back then uh, during those 16-bit wars. Like, oh, they've got these really cool Disney games that Super Nintendo does not have. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm kind of flying through this Pete's here. Pizza gang! Pizza mobster dog? Is he a dog? Is that what he is? That probably seems... That, that seems right. Okay. All right. Th- this seems very much in the kind of DuckTales, you know, Donald Duck is a, uh, you know, Indiana Jones type adventurer dude. Yeah. Um, but so- DuckTales wasn't really about Donald Duck so much. It was, it was, you know, Scrooge McDuck. That's and, right. Yeah, and yeah. And that sort of stuff, so. Yeah, so I wonder, man, the timeline, I wonder if DuckTales was a thing that was happening then, or. Maybe it got licensed separately or something. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Let's see, can I... I cannot change the control scheme now. Okay, I will just adjust to this new one. So, this is, uh... It's just... I'm not super familiar with Quackshot. Okay. So it starts out pretty standard. Yeah, look at this. I'm really pissed off. What happened? I ate five chili peppers, Jeff. You see my temper down there? Yeah. See, it's fine now, because I got uh, five normal ducks there. Mm -hmm. But if I eat five chili peppers... You go go nuts and attack some stuff. Yeah. Does Donald Duck have an affinity for uh, for chili peppers? Is that a thing? In the... I don't think so. I don't, I don't. I couldn't tell you. Are there Donald Duck comics, or is it just like? Yeah, th- there were comics. There have been all you know shorts. There've been all kinds of things over the years. I, I've just uh, I've never really understood people that are way into like Disney characters like Mickey and Goofy and Donald because like I never even knew where you watched it. Like there wasn't like a Looney Tunes. Like oh, there's the one show right, that you watch. Yeah. Uh, oh, so look here. So, but even oh, a lot of the Looney Tunes stuff was like combining stuff that was originally, you know, shown in movie theaters in the '40s or whatever. You know, oh, okay. Right? It's... Uh, real quick, what just happened here? So I could not progress any further in the level. So here's one of the weird things about this game, is that now it's like, oh, I called in my children who I taught how to fly a plane. They're apparently. your nephews. Nephews, yes, yeah, sorry. Huey, Who's their Dewey, dad? and Louie. Who's That's, their dad? I don't know that they ever really get into that. That's never been asked in the Disney universe. I don't know that they ever get into that. I think they're Scrooge's nephews, aren't they? Aren't they Donald's kids? They're not Donald's kids. Donald does not have kids. Really? There's Daisy Duck, but I don't think they're like I don't think it's like that with them. Really? I'm gonna look. There's got to be a Wikipedia for. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll punch it up here. I thought they were Scrooge's mind. nephews. Yeah, go ahead. I'm kind of curious now. Uh, oh, these guys. Dewey, Dewey, and Louie. Yes. Okay. Hubert Duck, Deuteronomy Duck, <laughs> Is that Louie Duck. Official names. Deuteronomy uh, Duck. No. So, so Donald Duck is their uncle and legal guardian. Scrooge McDuck is their great uncle. Who the fuck is their dad? Well, Donald's their legal guardian. So whoever their dad is, the dad is, is not dead? around. Is he dead or absentee? Or? You know, I'll keep looking through this page here and see if it, it ever really... That had to be addressed in something. That's too juicy of a detail. God damn it. 
Man, I played no, this. No, I mean, it was, it was a planned short called Donald's Nephews. I mean, the idea was to have, like, his nephews show up in a cartoon and be troublemakers. Oh, but not always but be not around. But not always be like, around. So you know? he can't be so, going on crazy adventures all the time if he's got three kids at home. Yeah, exactly. That so it's like yeah, irresponsible. It's cool Uncle Donald. I have an Uncle Donald. He's not a duck. He's not a duck? He's not a duck Are at you all. sure? No, he's an Is old he man. Is he Donald in, Duck Dunn? Uh, no, no, he's just an old man in Missouri. He works at Kauffman Stadium and lets people into the baseball games. Okay, all right. Yeah, he's not at all a duck. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, I hate these things. Ugh. Okay. Character background. I don't know, like, the, the, this page is not really... Okay. Huey, Dewey, and Louie are the sons of Donald's sister, Della Duck. The mother Della? In Donald's nephews, their nephew is instead their mother is instead named Dumbella. In the original theatrical shorts, they were originally sent to visit Donald for only one day. In the comics, the three were sent to stay with him on a temporary basis until their father came back from the hospital. The boys ended up sending him there after a practical joke of putting firecrackers under his chair, which you know, fire, the fireworks are dangerous. So wait, they had some sort of rectal damage and he had to go to the hospital? In both the comics and animated shorts, the boys' parents were never heard from or mentioned again after these instances, and the boys ended up permanently living with Donald. So yeah, it's just for the, it was just this convenient thing where... Sure, okay. So you just, you're progressing in this stage and then like, well, you can't, right. you can't get any further? So does there... Tell, does, 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 like that person is there to tell you like, hey, you yeah. need, did you, you need an item? Is it like Strider? Yeah, basically. So I need to get into, like, I'm gonna tell this guy like, hey, I couldn't get into the pyramid. And so I say, hey, I need the hero key. He's like, oh, here you go. Are you a hero? Yes, I'm trying to be. So now I've got the hero key. So check That's this out. That's a pretty lackluster quiz right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be, well, I don't know, here you go. It's not the trying to be a hero key. <laughs> So I just sent my three nephews up in a dangerous uh, takeoff, and now I need to immediately call them back because I'm going straight back to Mexico from Duxburg. And then use and look are used on your inventory? Like you can look at the key or use yes. the key? Or... Yes, Which uh, that will come into play. So I need to fly right <coughs> back to Mexico now. So I got that checkpoint flag. Like this blew my mind as a kid who like, you know, I was just playing like Mario and Mega Man and right, stuff. Where yeah, it's a pretty like, man, set you like- you go anywhere. Yeah, once yeah. you get to the end of the level, you're done with that level. So here it's like, oh, so now I need to get this inventory and go back here. So yeah, I guess I could look at this. It's, it's the, the hero, hero key. key. Uh, and so if I use that. Donald used it. A door opened. Yep. And then I also can shoot popcorn, but I want to save that for bosses and oh, stuff. Oh, that's like that's... a limited. Okay. Yep. Whoa, look at that. The slide's pretty good. I use it a lot in this pyramid. Uh, yeah, this game just kind of blew my mind back then. Again, uh, having only played Mario games and some Sonic and stuff. Like, this was just so cool. Uh, like, you'll some puzzle elements come in here, too. We'll see if we mm -hmm. get uh, far enough to show that. But yeah, it's cool. I kind of had to think more than I was. Oh ah, man, look at that! Yeah, it's like uh, a circle of booze only. Yeah, fire. <laughs> All right. Yeah, super quack shot maker will be coming soon. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised. I just I looked it up because like again, when you're a kid, you don't really know about developers and publishers and stuff. And I was like, I don't even know who made this game. And seeing it was like a first party Sega thing was kind of cool to see. Hmm? These guys are idiots. So when they're stunned like that, you can just go straight past. Them. Yeah, but you don't you don't kill. Donald Duck is not a murderer. No, he's like Batman. Yeah. Yeah, he'll stun someone with a plunger. Again, I wonder were plungers part of Ah shit. Were plungers part of Donald Duck's MO back in the day? I, I don't I don't think so. But you know, like he wasn't also wasn't necessarily Indiana Jones. This is true, yeah. It's kind of a standalone thing. It's like if Donald Duck was starring in a movie where he was an Indiana Jones type. Right. Mm, okay. Did yeah, I think when it comes to video games and, and, and the, like, these characters, like, you just think about DuckTales. Like, that game was incredible. Oh, yeah. Uh, Damn it. Yeah, that game was fantastic. Also, it was really difficult, I remember, as a kid. Oh, uh, yeah, there were parts of it that were hard. You know, it's like the, the uh, ending was determined by kind of how much money it got and stuff. Like, there was, you know, that kind of variance. And, uh, oh, man. Uh, we're going to be here forever. <laughs> yep, yep, and the mic's falling. Yeah. <laughs> it's going well. He's tapping his foot. He's doing the yeah. 90s platform character <laughs> thing. God damn it. Ugh, I hate this. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Stop. There it is. There, it is. there you go. Did you ever have a, a particular affinity for Disney characters or anything like Mickey and Donald? And no, Goofy? not at all. I, I didn't either. I really liked the the ca uh, Castle of Illusion. I thought it was an amazing game. Even, you know, it was one of those things where I, I feel like the character like worked against it to a certain extent because like, you know, when you see like Mickey Mouse on something, I think there's that tendency to think like, oh, well, this is like some kid's thing, like right. whatever. Uh, like even as a kid, that wasn't something, like I didn't want something that was like blatantly aimed at me. You know, I wanted the cool stuff. Yeah, right. I was trying to tape Revenge of the Nerds off HBO. Cool stuff, yeah. Yeah. 
There's full frontal nudity in that movie. You take. Oh, okay. Look, that, man. That is pretty cool. Okay. Sorry. Um. Ugh. How am I supposed to? Yeah, for me, Disney, I associate it with being for rich kids because uh, the Disney Channel was like a standalone. Oh, okay. it, cost, it cost money to get the Disney Channel. Yeah, so everyone watching like the Mickey Mouse Club or whatever or Goof Troop and this stuff, it's like, oh man, like I'm lucky to get like a free weekend every once in a while. Gorsh, Donald. It's well to see you. Goofy, what are you doing here? I never had any interest in anything that was on the Disney Channel. Like it always, I mean, well, you know, Kids Incorporated was on the Disney Channel, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't think I ever really watched yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I was a Nickelodeon kid for sure. I watched the shit out of Nickelodeon. Which, by the way, I just got this red plunger. Which, look at this. Okay, now you, yeah. That's great. Now the game comes into its own. Yep, so now I actually do have to run all the way back out, but it's not nearly as bad because uh, a lot of those guys are gone. Ah. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I would get those free weekends and like, okay, Goof Troop seems cool. I'll watch Goof Troop. But uh, anything with like actual Mickey Mouse or whatever, I didn't give a shit. Like I loved Looney Tunes, I loved Tiny Tunes, mm -hmm. and Wile E. Coyote and all that stuff. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. I mean, yeah, like I am firmly on the Looney Tunes side of the split as well. Like that stuff just seemed smarter and more interesting and every, everything, you know? Yeah, it, it just kind of weirds me out because it's like, I see like even now, I'll see adults that I know tweeting about like, oh my God, it's the most magical weekend ever. I'm at... The, the magic castle at Disney World. So it's like, I don't, why do you give a shit yeah, about man. this, you adult man? Like, what's what's happening here? Um, I, like, you know, people are into what they're into, but like, oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I, but I'm but I'm with you. Like, I I have not been to Disneyland in a very long time, and it's not something that's like high on my list. Yeah, even as a kid, like I went to Disney World in Orlando a couple times, and like I was probably like ten and twelve when I went. I was like, all right, whatever. I, the two exciting things I remember from being a kid at Disneyland were. Uh, you could get Mickey Mouse shaped pancakes, right? Which I, I thought that was pretty cool because I like pancakes, right? And there was an arcade that was like underground. It was in the middle of some water. It was like you had to cross this bridge into this like this like fountain or you know it was like a, a man-made thing. Right. So they dug out some water and then you kind of went into this ship or something and there was an arcade in there. In the Orlando one? No, no, no this is okay. No, no one would go to Walt Disney World. <laughs> That's. Um, <laughs> And I remember that arcade being pretty awesome. I also remember playing miniature golf at some point. Miniature golf is always a good time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As a kid, I was kind of obsessed with miniature golf. And I always associated it with uh, Southern California. Okay. Because there wasn't any up here, really. Huh. Um, and so, I, you know, I'd only played it when I went to Disneyland. And then also uh, the movie Midnight Madness came out. And there's a, you know, that takes place in the L.A. area. And uh, there's a whole sequence at a mini golf course. And okay. And arcade. That We're is, talking classic, like giant uh, windmill and all that stuff. Yeah, Abraham yeah, totally. Lincoln's Min legs miniature, spreading. miniature dang golf. Right. Yeah. You know. Uh, God damn. Yeah, that stuff's great. Yeah. I the one thing I really liked was I like rides. I like big kind of thrill rides. And they had a couple at Disney World. They had like Splash Mountain and stuff. Mm -hmm. Which I like Splash Mountain because I always heard Ric Flair talking about it, but I never knew what he was talking about. Sure. And at the time I didn't know it was because at the he time was, he was not talking about Splash Mountain. No, no. Oh no, Space Mountain. Sorry, Space, Space Mountain. Mountain. I was yeah. excited about that. Yeah. Which turns out he was just saying that because he was an old man that ladies still liked uh, kissing. Oldest ride, longest line. That's why he said that, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but okay. Space Mountain, I, I was uh, so my uh, dad uh, got me to go on Space Mountain against my will, and <laughs> it was terrifying. Oh, I it's all dark and crazy. And yeah, lit up. it was just it was just a nightmare. Speaking of terrifying, this part always just made me real nervous as a kid. <coughs> it's, uh, it's do or die here, Jeff. Ugh. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Oh boy, okay. man, that's extra money. You can just walk away from. Got ice cream, popcorn. No, I want ice cream, popcorn over money. Ugh. Okay. I mean, you would just be using that money to buy ice cream, and popcorn. This, so this is very true. Oh man, that's scary. Okay, now this uh, idiot, what's his name? Giro Guck, uh, Guck, Guck Brain. I don't know what his name. It's Giro something. Gy Gyro, Gyro Geekberg. <laughs> Gyro Geekberg. Okay. <laughs> he makes inventions. He turned into RoboCop in Ducktales, which is great. Now I have bubble gum ammo. I can shoot bubbles, and so I can come back to him if I ever need more. I'm gonna save that for when I'm in Transylvania. I don't need that now. I think this one is a pretty safe ride back. Uh, but Splash Mountain was awesome. I love Splash Mountain. I like any kind of water rides. Um, I'm trying to think. You can't have water rides anymore. Why? Everyone's got cell phones. Uh, yeah. I went on the Jurassic Park ride at Universal Studios a few months ago, and it's a water ride. You just gotta like bring a Ziploc bag or something. Oh yeah, I'll just bring a Ziploc bag with me wherever it's I go. It's not gonna take up a lot In of space. In case a water or... ride shows up. <laughs> This never surprise water rides. If Whoops, you, water ride! If you're gonna be in a situation where ri water rides are possible, bring some Ziploc damn bags along with you. It'll be fine. 
<laughs> and then carry a bowl of rice in your other pocket. Okay. In All right. I do. I do that anyway. <laughs> right. Hey, rice is good. I like how that word boom hurts you. Hey, look. No, at it's uh, yeah. Here comes the boom. <laughs> Mickey cameo. Uh, so you can tell when these guys are going to have stuff for you if you see if they have like a little satchel on their side. That means oh. that if you shoot them, they're going to have popcorn ammo drop. That's kind of cool. or a full ass steak or something or chicken. I think that's chicken. Uh, Ducks see. eating chicken. Yeah, it's messed weird. Up. Like this guy. This turtle's got something for me. Hey turtle, come here. He's like a Mega Man guy. You gotta uh -huh. gotta wait for him to do a thing. Come on, buddy. Give me something. So what is that? A chicken? Yeah, I guess uh, maybe a it's chicken? a duck. Maybe it's a duck. That's maybe weird. it's a duck. He's <laughs> carrying a full duck around in a commuter bag. Yeah, and then this duck is getting it and eating it for more power. <laughs> yeah, there's some weird stuff going on here. All right, so now I can get back. What, what did I just get? I just got. Oh, one sun, two moon, three star. That's a that's a secret there. Okay. So I'm gonna call the airplane now that I got my bubblegum ammo. Again, this this felt like the most open thing in the world back then. Like I, I guess this was in a post Zelda world. So the idea of like getting sure, stuff yeah, that unlocks yeah. and, and Metroid. Post Strider. I mean, you know, sort of right. like, like I look at this as like you know you go to a level and then get to a point where you gotta like stop and come back. Right. Like right. that's that's a very Stridery thing to me. But yeah, I, I like Strider, <laughs> but I think this was the first game I played that was kind of like that. You mm -hmm. know. And that, that was a world where, like, even, like, the Mega Man, like, oh, I get to pick my level is, yeah, is crazy yeah. enough. Much less, oh, I get to pick, and also I'm going back and forth is crazy. Right. Or, like, a Bionic Commando sort of thing. There was yeah. a certain element of that. There yeah. Too. Which I I think I was too young when I played Bionic Commando because I just could not wrap my head around that. I just... It's rough, you know, like, that. if you think about the original version of that game, it, <clears throat> you know, they didn't make it easy for you to get out of a level if you went in with the wrong stuff. Right, right. Uh, so if you had the wrong transceiver or something, you know, you would just end up screwed. Or you'd have to, like, you'd have to know that, like, oh, if I take controller two and hit this, it'll get me back to the menu or whatever. But Right. All I knew is that they had a cool uh, robot arm thing, and man, yeah. that was fun. It was very, it's, it's a great game. You have a cool name, too. Yeah. Hey, it's Dracula's Castle. All right. All right, so I think here I am going to need to switch to my bubblegum ammo. Because that, uh-oh. Thanks, Ghost. Oh. Why, why would you even come here? It's so sorry. It's pretty scary. Uh, all right. Oh, Count Dracula has the treasure map in his castle. Dracula will never give up that treasure map. I, I remember thinking back, like, this game took me... It felt like six months to beat. Because, uh -huh. again, you're an idiot kid, and you just don't know how to do things. And uh, I just remember every day coming <laughs> back and be like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a way past that level in Quackshot. I remember my ex-uncle Dave was helping me because he was an adult. And so I could be like, oh, Dave, did you figure out any more secrets of Quackshot? Like, this is a pre-internet world where yeah, I couldn't yeah. really search that stuff. And so, yeah, the... Uh, why does... Why... Why does bubblegum ammo destroy things? Is this like a statement on what bubblegum does to your teeth or something? Is like some kind of... Uh... I don't know. I, this is... Uh, maybe they were uh, the Disney bubblegum. They were trying to say something bad about Bazooka Joe. Maybe this is Bazooka Joe I'm using here. That had jokes on it, right? Bazooka Joe? Yeah, it came with, not on the gum, it came with gum. Or it came with the gum. Right, it was the Laffy Taffy model, right? You'd, un, you'd, it was, you'd unfold the, the gum, and, or you know, the, the paper from around the gum or next to the gum, and it'd be a little fun comic book, comic okay. strip for you to read. I like the popsicle sticks where it says <clears> it's at the bottom, you know, the like, hey, why did the thing do a thing? And then when you're done eating, you have to wait an, yeah. like a whole popsicle length of time to find out what the hilarious punchline is. Oh, I hated this part. I've also been getting hit a lot. So, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, you're you're not doing great. I need to eat a duck. Let's see if I can make this jump. Oh no, nope, that's okay. I might make it. That can't be frozen. I don't know what those things are supposed to be. Ah, I hated Bubble Man stage in Mega Man 2 um, because it always scared me trying to jump too high mm -hmm. into those uh, spikes up there. I'm playing Mega Man Legacy Collection. I'm on Dr. Wily's castle now. Ah, the game's still good. I'm gonna try this here. This seems dangerous. E yep, and then, oh, not gonna double up. Boy, I really need to get something here. I forget uh, how good the checkpoint situation is. Uh, I like how the this plunger is just like your new default. There's not like a limit or anything right, like that. Right, yeah. All right, this timing should be all right. Oh dear. Oh, damn it. Oh, I really wanna get out of here. Uh, as far as like Disney, there you go. This oh my God, yes. Oh God. Okay, just don't do anything dumb, Dan. All right. Ha! Ah! Okay. Ah. Uh, all right. Full power. All right. All right. 
I'm trying to think of other Disney games that really uh, struck a chord with me. Like, yeah, a couple of those Mickey games. I'd rent those, so I never really played the hell out of them like I did Quackshot. Uh-huh. There was like, what was it? Like Disney's Magical Tetris. Was a good, hmm. There was a good Disney Tetris game for N64, maybe? I don't think I played that. Hmm. Hey, this guy here, he's up to something. Look at this face. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, no. Sure enough, he's just a bunch of ghosts. He's not one big ghost. <clears throat> I mean, those are those are equally terrifying things. Yeah. To me. Yeah. You see the Count Dracula paintings? They got moving eyes. Oh. I was always a sucker. Speaking of like Disney World and stuff, for like fun houses, for, like wacky uh, eyes that follow you. I always I thought it was a cool idea, but the the fun house that would come to my local fairgrounds. Uh, was crappy. Really? It didn't have any crazy mirrors or it slanty did, floors? It did, but they were all or... terrible. Really? It, everything, was, everything was just pretty much broken. Aw. <clears throat> it's like, here's this scratched up mirror that you can, you know, kind of look in. Oh, I guess I see I guess I guess see what they're going for here, but it doesn't really work. Yeah, that's a shame. Those things are fun. I don't like, like, little kind of podunk county fairs. Like, they're kind of fun for eating stuff at, mm -hmm. but, like, the rides always seem borderline unsafe. Oh, yeah. I still yeah, do yeah, them all the time. You get on the zipper, and it's like, well, I might die here, but yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I still I've always... A, I've lived a full life. It'll be fine. Get, put me on the Gravitron again. Yeah, I always go by stats, and it's like, well, I haven't heard about anyone dying in a freak carnival accident in a couple years, so I'm probably good. Oh, God, you hear that sound? Yeah. That's bad news. Oh, that's bad. I'm fine. I'm fine. I remember uh, one time on Unlimited Ride Day, I rode the Gravitron five times in a row, and then I had to, I had to like take a knee for oh, about really? 20 minutes. And that was the last time you ever rode an amusement park ride several times in a row. E yeah, it, well, yeah. It what was. situation yeah, would no. call? Well, call why would anyone ever do that? That's, yeah. That never happened. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, even though they, they <clears> seemed <throat> skeezy and possibly unsafe or whatever, like just these like possibly high guys running the things at these county fairs. I'm gonna I say always, probably. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna upgrade your possibly to there's a probable right, a, there, a probable highness. Yeah, L uh, literal carnies. L literal carnies, yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, it's certainly some nice people and oh, stuff yeah, like yeah. that, but... Damn it. Uh, yeah, I always just kind of trust that stuff. Any kind of amusement park ride, any kind of skydiving, anything, it's like, ah, people don't actually die doing this. Like, what, 20 people a year maybe die doing this? Yeah, if, if, you play, if you play the odds, it, you yeah. know, it's, it'll probably be fine. Yeah, that's why I'm never afraid of those things. So, but, uh... I, I used to do that all the time. Like, go uh, if you go when it's cold, like, I used to go to Worlds of Fun in Kansas City, and uh, go on a cold day, especially if you had, like, the day off school or whatever, and uh, you can just ride a ride over and over again until you're about ready to puke or you have mm -hmm. a headache or something. That was always super fun. Uh, I'm worried about this health situation. I just don't know... Wait, can, does the bubblegum kill ghosts? No. Does popcorn kill ghosts? Uh, I can't popcorn while there's a bubblegum. Damn it. I just wasted popcorn. Damn it. I like that sound a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, just I like that the ghost just hangs out for a while and then goes, oh, by the way. By the way, I'm a ton of ghosts. Uh, I can't remember any good way to deal with those things. Sometimes these would have uh, ducks or whatever in them. Come well, on, give me some ducks. Or the guy, yep, he's gonna turn into a bunch of ghosts. All right. Ah! This very much has the kind of like Mario World, God damn it! ghost house feel. Ah, shit, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Uh, I'm gonna die. Uh, but like the kind of puzzly things, like, oh, this is a tricky mm -hmm. house. Like, you know, what, what are you gonna do to get to the end? Like this, it just repeated, and that, that feels like a Mario World trick. Oh, because you need to go up? Yeah, oh, okay. and I'm totally gonna die because yeah. of these fucking ghosts. God damn it. Ah! These aren't quite Angry Sun slash Fanto levels of me being afraid of them as a kid, yeah. but uh, still no fan of these ghosts. Ah! Remember the Ghostbusters game on NES? Not, not the NES one. No, I used to play that a lot. It wasn't great. Was it the one where you, did you have to like run a business? It was the one where you would have the kind of like ah, damn it. Where's the checkpoint? It was the one where there's a oh I'm fine. Okay, uh, it would have kind of the like driving around in the Ecto Mobile whatever thing. In like that weird kind of top-down situation. Remember that at all? Yeah, yeah. That's just the the home computer version was was that sort of stuff. Okay, I remember being confusing when I was a kid and just not having the know-how to do something like that. Like when you're a little kid, anything beyond just like hey, jump on that thing seems like the most difficult thing in the world. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh god. I played a lot of computer games as a little kid. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. And it was you know stuff like Ghostbusters where it was like hey, here's you know enter your name. Hey, you need to. You need to, like, turn a profit on this Ghostbusters operation. I'm like, all right, well, if I hit the space bar, the computer voice says, Ghostbusters, and that's pretty cool, so. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe your childhood stuff was more like computer stuff that required a little more of you. Yeah, like, like, I was playing, like, you know, like, what, like, Pools of Radiance or whatever. It was like, okay. you know, D&D, &D, like, you know, turn-based RPGs and stuff like that. Like, Okay. 
Because that was the stuff that, you know, you have time for when you were a little kid, so. Yeah. That makes sense, because, like, my first ones were, like, the first Mario Brothers and Mega Man and, like, pretty straightforward, hey, jump on this thing or shoot this thing type of stuff, you know? Sure. Mm. Takes the real treasure map. Yeah, got There's it. There's no fake-ass treasure map. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, stuff like that was way more confusing to me. All right, so now I got a treasure map. So now I think I go to Maj. Let me see if I can pronounce this. Let's see. Not South Pole yet. I go to Maharaja. <coughs> Maharaja. I think that's where I go next. Huh. Are you going to visit a Maharaja? Is that a person or a place? Is a Maharaja? Is that like a person? Is that like a religious spiritual leader, or is that a? Uh, is that like a president? You know, I, I, I feel like I should know the answer to your question, but unfortunately I do not. I feel like I've heard that word before outside of quack shot context. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Oh, I'm about to be angry. See my temper thing? Uh-huh. Look at this. Oh. All right. Yes! This is like better than an invincibility star, because he's just super pissed off. You can climb stuff that you're not supposed to be able to climb. Hmm. It doesn't and seem to last very long. It doesn't actually seem that useful in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, for a while you can sprint through a few dudes. All right. I think these guys take three. Oh no! They hurt you with music. Music is the weapon. Yes. Quack shot. Yes. But to fight a dominatrix at the end of this to get Joe Perry's car back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the big yeah, Maharaja. Big Maharaja's yeah, palace. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so can I go here? I think I need to get a one jewel. sun, two whatever, three moon. That's not going to play in just yet. That okay. will. Offer you a challenge. If you can defeat the tiger in the garden, I'll reward you with the sphinx tier. So I think I can just go, and there's a maze here. Let me see if I can uh, get through this maze. Look at that idiot. He didn't see me coming. Yep. He's not really guarding Stealth that door kill. very well. I got jump over. Oh, crap. Oh, give me your ice cream. Okay, I know you have to jump over a couple of these doors. Stupid turtles with boxing gloves. Uh, I think I have to jump over number two. Jump over this one. Yes, okay. This seems familiar here. All right, all right. I think... Oh, does that guy have duck? I want duck. I think I'm supposed to go here, though. Yes, I think this is good. So, yeah, we're actually getting into the part where there's, like, boss fights and stuff going on. Yeah. Like, that, uh, that Dracula's pretty easy. It seems like there's just kind of a slow ramp-up where it's like, okay, go here, find this stuff, and then now that you've got a few things... Damn it. You're kind of... You're, you're doing things. Yeah, yeah. I actually have, like, you know, the stuff that I can, like, you know, shoot the plungers and things like that. Yeah. Or jump on them. Uh, okay. I think I go here. Get out of my way. Yeah, like this stuff, you know, you didn't really see this back in the day of, of Mario stuff. Like, that was more Mario World. I'm trying to think, like, puzzle stuff. I mean, stuff. Super Mario Brothers had the castle yeah. levels that were, like, if you went the wrong way, it just looped over and over again, you know? That's true, yeah, yeah. Camera, was there like a, a chime or something that indicated when you did the right thing? I want to say that maybe they added that. For, I can't remember for sure, but did they add that for All Stars and the game originally didn't have that? I wonder if that was the case, because I seem to remember playing some version of it where there was an actual chime going on. Yeah. I'm doing something stupid here. I keep doing... I know I have to jump over this. Maybe I have to go in the underside. Yeah, and then like three had all the warp whistle stuff and everything. Like right. those were nice Easter eggs. Maybe go here. Oh, that made a sound. So you. So before you jumped up, up and went in that one, so that's. So now maybe. Yeah, I think I need to go this way and then, then go up. Yes. Yes, I think this will take me to the tiger. Okay. Oh boy, this is scary. So you have to hit him like. You can't hurt him while he's on the ground. You have to like, ha! Do that stuff oh, a lot. Okay. But then he starts doing the stuff where he jumps up. Oh god. Oh, I'm good. Ha! There we go. He, he starts jumping up and shooting fire down. Yeah, the timing's kind of weird on this. Mm. Okay, so now I do this. I have to time it. He goes, ee! Got him! All right, cool. Whew. Okay. Ha! Yeah! Nice. Whew. All right. Man! I'm oh, on fire. This is great. Mm, got him! Sphinx tier! A tiger blinked. Yep. And then blink faster and faster and faster, get ready for the drop, and then the door open. Oh no, the drop comes from the Maharaja here. Mm. Big, Ma big Maharaja. Got the Sphinx tier. Okay. 
Now I can go Great. to Egypt, I think. Let me see. And this game still plays pretty good. Yeah, you feeling the way it controls and stuff yeah. like that? It's not like this pitch perfect platforming like Mario yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It's just, I just think this is a cool game, mm. you know? All right. Oh, peppers again. Ah. So I think this is where I will use the real treasure map in that one sun, two moon, three star stuff. Okay. If I remember right, you have to act really fast on that too. Give me that popcorn. I think when you shoot stuff with popcorn, it like is permanently dead. Yeah, it just, it's I think not it kills the, it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've not played a ton of this game, but I I did mess around with it a little Let's bit. Test it. I got 30 popcorns. I want to kill a bird too. That didn't, well, okay. Yeah, you killed that guy. There we go. Popcorn. It's dangerous. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a spread gun. Oh wow, I forgot it takes like five kernels every time. Yeah. Damn it. Slide's a good move. Cover a lot of ground. Oh, he's the turtle's got something. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, one more and I'll be mad. Yes. Mm. So it was a very bonks adventure kind of thing. Like you eat the meat and get mad. Oh yeah, see, that that was uh, just turbo graphics, right? Uh, it did. Yeah, pretty much. See, that's I I always wanted to play it. I always saw the ads for it, but mm. I never actually got to play. It was a good game. Yeah. Uh, you, you the turbo graphics came with turbo controllers. Oh, so you could uh, actually so like a, a switch? switch for like a switchable turbo. And so if you. The main thing was you you would jump in the air and hit the attack button, and that would point your head down. You could land and crash on things. Okay. But if you hit it again, you would kind of spin in the air and slow your descent. Huh. And so with Turbo, you could basically just, like, you were just in the air almost forever all the time. So were the games being designed with that Turbo thing, like, kind of in Maybe? mind? Maybe. I don't know. It, you, you didn't, you know, there were spots where you definitely benefited from, like, maximum hover time. It made it a lot easier, but... Huh. And that was the built-in Turbo... That wasn't, like, a six-button... Yeah, no, that was that was the controller that came with the system had those switches. I don't know what the good thing to do is with these things. I always just eat the damage. Uh, yeah, I, I always super wanted the Turbo Graphics, but I think Bonk was the only thing that I had heard of that I actually wanted to try. I got it, and then the first game I went and oh, you know, came with like Keith Courage when I, I bought mine used, and it came with Keith Courage, and then okay. I went, I went and decided, well, I need to go buy a new game with this thing, and then being an idiot, I said, well, let's get the game that looks like a wrestling game, right? And I bought Battle Royale. Okay. Did that have Which any? Is a, uh, it's like a five-person kind of Royal Rumble-ish sort of, you know, everyone in the ring at the same time, kind of fighting, brawling thing. No license whatsoever. Right? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, but like the main move was like you just like the there was a punk rock guy, and his main move was he would just like get down on all fours and bite. Okay. And he would just bite the other guys, and it sucked. Hmm. It was a terrible game. No one's ever really used that move. The old ah, God damn it! Every time. Oh God. Jeff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's like a junkyard dog sort of thing almost. That huh? was cool though. He was headbutting people. Damn it! Yeah, you, you caught on fire. Okay. Ah, uh, damn it! The very beginning of the temples. And uh. you're down three hearts. Oh boy, that's that's fun. Yeah, it's it's starting to get tough. Or you know, rewards patience. However you want to look at it. I, I've not gotten necessarily more patience in my old age. Nope. Nope. I'll see if I can figure out a good way past those spikes. Also, I like the music in this game. It's good. It always fits the uh, the areas. And I can think of some other Genesis music that I that I like a little more, but yeah. Uh, but this is this is fine. What am I supposed to do here? I... Wait, is that a secret? Oh! I must. Oh my God! The mother load. Can I skip all this? Are you serious? Does that take me? That is a hell of a shortcut. Oh no, and then I have to do all this crap. Okay, I gotta think here. Oh, these aren't the following ones yet. Oh God. Hmm. All right. Uh oh. Uh, by default, run is A and jump is C. So I'm having to do this like that's, weird. Uh, yeah, that's not a good control scheme. The, you know, the, the the three button controller for the Genesis. You know. It, had its issues. Yeah, I remember like a lot games of games stuff like that. I remember a lot of games like when I got Mortal Kombat. It was like, well, press wasn't it like B press. and C at the same time to block? No, B was block, A was punch, C was kick, and start was block. Start might have been block. Yeah. Damn it! Oh, you just—that's insta death on the, yeah. on the fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. but, but I'm in this section. Um, yeah, and I remember when the eight button or the six button came out. I want to say I got that with Mortal Kombat Two, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, this is a complete game changer. Now I have two block buttons because I have too many buttons. Yeah. All 
All right. All right. It was this. like you got one of those Mortal Kombat conversion kits and converted a Street Fighter machine into MK. <laughs> right. Oh dear. Okay, okay. Here's where I died last time. I have four Donalds left. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. Uh, I hope I just warp out of this when I'm done and I don't have to go backwards through that. The stage is basically like the last little bits of that new Destiny oh, raid. Oh, jeez. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, this made me nervous. I think this is just sprint. I like the way that fire looks. Yeah. Uh, is that gonna come up? No, okay. This is always fun to me. I really like just jumping up these, all those things with the plungers. Oh god, it's back. His run animation leaves a little bit to be desired. It's just like a little, a little hustle. Eh, he's a duck. What do you want? I oh, guess- I, Damn it! Ha! Ha! <laughs> that's the sucks. worst Mario Maker level oh, ever. Who the fuck that... would just put fire at the bottom of that uh, thing? What a jerky move. Kaizo quack shot. Uh. I did look up the, the translation in Japan. It just this game is called I Love Donald Duck. I've never disliked Donald Duck. I, I, I have no problem with him. No, he's never slighted you personally. No, not that I know of. Okay. If you, have you heard anything? I mean, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to imply that at all. Sorry. No, I haven't heard a thing. Mm. So I should be able to just hold in right here. I imagine there's no plunger situation I can do here. Please don't die. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, I think I might be going into the room. I think this is it. Okay. Let's make sure. Look. One sun, two moon, three star. Okay. Sun. Moon. Star. Yeah. I remember feeling real smart when I figured that yeah. out as a kid. Oh, now I got a thing. Scepter of Raw. Yeah, the Scepter of Raw. Look at this. Oh, I'm not going to have to go through all that crap. That's great. No, no pants. Got the. No, uh, no. Oh dear. Here we go. I like this music. This is good music. It's good, like minecart level kind of music. Yes. It's traveling. Some, in a pre Donkey Kong Country world. Back when it was real. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh god. Minecart levels make me so goddamn nervous. Just the idea of not being able to stop. Like, I want to be able to stop and take my time. It's like, yeah. well, I don't like driving on the highway. Because it's like, oh, I can't just like, I like driving on the streets because like, oh, here's a stop sign. I can just kind of stop and not do anything. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with Donald Duck's quack shot. All right. Even, <laughs> it's just yeah, like driving no, on the highway. It's just like driving on the highway. All right. I think I go to, uh, is it the Viking ship or the, I think I go to the South Pole first because I can melt ice with the Scepter of Ra now. Okay. Mm, I think this is right. I think worst case scenario, I just unlock a checkpoint for the plane. Good music. Real good music. Oh, I hate these penguins. Look at that penguin. Yeah, look at his head. Look at that slide. Ah, damn. <laughs> you know what uh, I think the best slide in a game is in Mario 3 when you can just do the butt slide down hills and just like yep. kill a bunch of Goombas on the way down? Yeah. Feels yeah. great every single time. Like when they would have it, you go up a little bit on the other side, like it had a real like skateboarding half pipe sort of feel to it. Yeah. I like, I mean, one of the first times I remember doing it was Mario 3, what was that, level 1-7, where it's ice and you just kill a bunch of beetles on the way down? Mm, Feels yeah. great. You can do it in that one level on the grassy level, too. Oh, here we go. See, so like right now, if I was an idiot, I could be like, duh, guess I can't do anything. But as a, a smart adult man who's played this game, I know I can go into here. And look at that. Except for Ra, who is the sun god, as you would know, of course, from uh, Egyptian mythology. Uh huh. Uh, he melts this came ice. With a, much like where in the world is Carmen San Diego, this exactly. game came with a huge atlas. Yes. Where you could learn things like that. I thought that was super cool too. I had Carmen San Diego on Commodore 64, mm. my dad did, with the big ass atlas. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was a cool idea. It felt like you were like a detective or something, and like when you're a kid, it's like, oh man, I'm like learning stuff. Like that, that was a cool thing. Yeah. And also, that was a great game show. Yeah, I bet Rockapella. I mean, must. How many? You know, how frustrated do you think they must be? Because they still play shows. Do they? <clears throat> yes. They must do that song all the time, right? I imagine that they would not do it, and then people would yell for them to do it, and they would be fucking bummed. Oh yeah. That's they'd be like, "No, we're doing our fucking version of Tempted by the Fruit of Another over here." <laughs> like, like, come on, man. 
I mean, if you go to like a Bachman Turner Overdrive concert, you want to hear "Taking Care of Business." You gotta, you know. Yeah, but that's people song, are buying a ticket. But that was a song that they wrote to be a song that got popular, and they're like, "Hey, you know, hey, we wrote this song that got popular." Right. Bummer for us, right? No, this is like <laughs> instead, this is like, "Hey, we wrote a theme song for a kids show." And now, you know, this novelty thing that you're like, wait, we're serious musicians. Like, I, 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 maybe they're way into it. I mean, you never know. But how many tickets do you think they've sold because of Carmen San Diego? They gotta be thankful for those fans, right? I don't know Rockapella personally. I don't know Rockapella personally either. I guess I didn't even know they really did a whole lot of stuff outside of Carmen San Diego. Uh oh, which one am I doing here? Up or down? Either one's gonna make me nervous. Let's go up. That seemed pretty easy. Yeah. Where did the other one go? Is there more fun stuff? Okay, sure, whatever. Ah, I'm just being kind of haphazard here. You are. The local uh, the local car salesman guy at Olathe Ford in Kansas was a uh, haphazard. He was a uh, he was a, a fun guy that would yell about cars all the time. And his name was Hap. Oh mm -hmm. dear. I don't know that the word hazard is what I want to think of when it comes to <laughs> buying a car. I never thought of that. The car salesman's name was Hazard. Like, no. <clears throat> Please uh, do go inside the ship and get rid of the ghosts, won't you? Sleepy Viking wants me to do that. Do I have the key? Yeah, you got the key. Which, oh, the Viking key is this one. I mean, I'm getting near the end of this game, actually. Huh. Uh, all right. It does get tougher, man. The last level, I just remember being stuck More on that for so ghosts. long. I think I can, I think it's shorter if I go past them. Oh boy. I think we're near the end of the ghost. I love killing the Vikings by just saying, like, fuck you, you don't have a barrel, you're dead. All right. Uh, uh, you don't see a lot of Vikings around anymore, and it's because of, you know, people like you and your anti-barrel agenda. Right, right. They yeah. have nowhere to go. Yeah, and, you know, the, the rainforest, you know, as that's disappeared, barrels have disappeared, mm -hmm. Vikings, that's why Vikings aren't around. Yeah. All right. Oh, dear. What boss is this? Oh, it's this guy. Hiding oh. bosses behind, like, hidden walls and shit seems like a messed up way to go. Yeah. Okay, so I have to sh I can only hurt him while he's got his- oh. oh, dear. While he's got his thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, because while the thing is loose, I can't hurt him. Ugh. So can you shoot his head while it's off of him, or- I don't think so. Oh, okay. Let's try it. I kind of remember this being a strategy. Nah. Okay. That just goes right through. It's usually five or six hits for most bosses in this game. Okay, I got this. I got the rhythm yeah, down. I mean, you're hitting him. Yeah. But he's not flashing like the tiger was. Uh, that, well, <laughs> that meant the tiger was dead when he was flashing. Like, he's hurting. Like, this is him hurting. What I mean, like, like flashing white, right? Are you sure this is hurting him? I'm pretty sure. I mean, he is falling to pieces and reassembling yeah. himself, so. I'm pretty confident about this. All right. You're dead. All right, all right, all right. Nope, he's nope. not dead yet. Also, a gun that shoots plungers is cool. Yeah. I like that. Like the idea of like sh getting somebody in the face with a plunger real hard, th th there's a real appeal to it's that. It's kind of humiliating for them too, because mm -hmm. it's usually used to clean toilets yeah. and then have it on your face is gross. Yeah, you don't want it. You don't want that. Yeah. Hey, all the ghosts. Can, can I, I have, have a... the Viking diary? That guy's got Zubas. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't really have... Oh, great. I ain't got no Viking diary. No legend says that it's hidden in ice near the... Okay, it's so back to the ice. Ancient Viking plunger. Oh, they it's had a, a lot of one. toilet problems back then. <laughs> Can be used to fly by catching things that fly. Okay. Man, look at this. We got a full inventory here. Almost. Man, okay. this is fun. So back to the South Pole. Yes, which, if you look at the map. Yeah, there's not too, not too many areas left here. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> it's exciting, Jeff. All right. The so tension it takes is, me, The tension is mounting. <laughs> takes me to the checkpoint, so I can skip all that stuff. And if I remember right, this is kind of scary. I have to go, eh? Yeah, look at that. Okay. And I don't think I can shoot or anything. I'm afraid to press any button right now. So I'm just going to try to not die from these parka wearing... Are those parkas? Is that what a parka is? Yeah, yeah, yeah those are parkas. Okay. Reminds me of Albatross in Mario 2. Mm. Right. Seems easy enough so far. Donald needs to keep his eyes ahead instead of looking up. I don't think I've lost like two lives, right? They were both by falling. I think so, yeah. Okay, I might have you, lost you one. You fell in the fire. One. Yeah. There's yeah, platforming stuff in the last level is what really, really makes it hard. 
Ugh. I like penguins. Yeah, penguins are cool. Yeah, every time I've seen them at the zoo or whatever, they just seem like cool dudes. They're just hanging out doing the penguin thing. Yeah, they're having a good time. Oh, God. I don't like that. It looks like it has human teeth. Mm. Nope. Ugh. Oh, boy. This makes me extra nervous knowing that there are not any checkpoints until you, like, get past the screen. Ugh. All right. Oh, man, they really like these jumps, don't they? Oh, man. Uh, that is that going to raise? Is that... Don't... No! Oh! Get out of my way. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, God, this is going to make me nervous. Anything with instant death. Okay. Not a lot of leeway on this. <coughs> okay. Ugh. So that one did not look like it was raising at all, right? No, it didn't. Okay. So one of them raises, and I think it's necessary for it to raise. The, oh boy. Just keep going, Donald. Okay. Okay. This has got to be near the end, right? Yeah, they couldn't do too much that's more That's mean. Of this. Yeah, that's mean. I that's gotta be it. Ah, that's gotta be a checkpoint. I have three Donalds? Yep. Oh, this looks fun. Okay. Whew, okay. Giving you some stuff right yeah. here at the outset. Like, hey, get ready to do some work. Here's some gum. <laughs> Donald chewed gum while he was adventuring. He was the Shawn Michaels of the duck, Duckburg. Yeah. No, he was such a show-off, like everyone else hated him. Right, right. Oh. Uh. Ah! <laughs> what is he? That's Big Pete. I don't know. Uh, I kind of remember I had to shoot him in the butt. Oh, God. I think, like, when he's wheezing, I think if you shoot him in the there butt, that's when you can do it. Nope. Uh, let's get these guys out of here. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Give me that duck. Yeah, popcorn. And the, the green one retains the properties of the, the mm -hmm. red plunger. Yeah, that was just advanced plunging. I was gonna say, that, that was probably something cool because it was off by its side, not really doing anything. I got an extra Donald. Yeah, bonus Donalds. Mm. <clears throat> Let him take care of the ice. I mm. don't oh, no, I guess. Yeah, there you go, you got him. Is that a sea lion or just a seal? What's well, the difference? It's like a walrus. Oh, okay. It's got the tusks. My girlfriend went to the beach the other day down here in San Francisco, and there's a big dead sea lion right there on the sand. Send cool. Picture that was gross. Uh, all right. I think I go this way. Uh, oh shit. Okay. I think I can shoot straight up. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You iced him. Nice. That's got to be stuff in there. What? I don't think I ever got it like that before. Where did I... I got that at the Viking ship, right? No, he didn't have the Viking diary, remember? He said, come here to get the Viking diary. Oh, wait, so why was I doing all that work for him? To get the Viking diary. But oh. then he super didn't have it? Yeah, then he was like, I ain't got it. So you're, you're doing so stuff free like work. It, it seems like that there's dialogue that only shows if you go there without the stuff, and or, or if you talk to him and say like, hey, I'll give you the Viking diary if you get rid of the ghosts or, or something, or uh, maybe it's just not clear, I don't know, huh. but you got what you need, so. <laughs> so do I need to conceivably go back to? Oh man, I wonder if you- Oh okay. wait. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, Crap. It's, it's the shakedown. I said Unka. Ah, all that work. I just winked at the camera. All right, gotta chase after Pete. Going off map. All right, going to the hideout. This is it. Oh, well, we'll see. It's not quite it. Close. Oh, geez, I can't stun those? Yeah, it was these levels that I remember, like, I, I can't remember if there was a continue system, but these were the levels that, like, defeated me as a kid. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need Do you to... need to catch that guy? Yeah. And, yeah. Okay, another one coming. They're on a schedule, yeah. Yeah. It's like a train. All right. This is some late game music yeah, here. Yeah, this is it's gotten serious. Yeah. But <laughs> like 20 years later, this still makes me nervous. 
Okay, it's a nice ride. I got some piranhas here. I... Ha! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, fish. Uh, that's probably gonna fall, right? Yeah, probably. Ha! All right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Oh, crap. These snakes seem so happy about what they're doing. They're like, ah, we want to murder you! Yeah, I, no, I don't like killing them. I like just giving them a quick plunger and then being on my way. Mm -hmm. Let them keep doing snake things. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. All right. What? That was weird. Did that look funky to you? No, not really. It just, so I just like you didn't jump. <laughs> okay. I think I need to jump here. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing that. I thought I could ride it off and then jump. Please be done. What? Okay. Is that it? Okay. Oh, this crap. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think this is the thing that, like, this is right when I remember dying a lot. I remember this being very difficult a long time ago. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going down. Uh, oh, no. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I thought the thing was just gonna ice you. I thought that was gonna be like a big gun. <laughs> That'd be great. Shoot you right in the face. Yeah. Going down. Am I going up? I'm going up. No. Going down. Okay. Oh dear. Ah. Okay. 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 Uh, from up here, you think? Yeah, you can make that. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna have to go down. All right. What? What? Oh, that's really far. Is that just a blind jump from up here? Oh dear. Ah. That's kind of screwed up. Yeah. Do I need to go down? To get that's a... ground. Or no, no, maybe it's not. Get... Maybe it's not. What's happening here? Do I need to just. No, go up and jump off to the right. See that? Okay. That's. that's... Oh no, you didn't make it! Was that gun looking plunger. thing? Was you have that a plunger. ground? You have to plunge the wall and then... And oh, then... plunge it from down low. Oh, is this the beginning of this whole thing? Yep. So I need to go down, plunge it, and then there's a time limit. Oh boy. Man. This is some mean stuff to do in a game that a lot of kids would be playing. Uh, you know, games just not hold hands, you know, and that's... Yeah. Kind of what I was getting at is, you know, like... A lot of kids' games at some point started really underestimating the actual aptitude of kids to figure shit out. Yeah, and just patience and stuff. Yeah. And again, you don't really have money when you're a kid to buy a billion games, so like you just stick with it until you beat it. Yeah. That sounds like our generation- Motherfucker! That sounds like our generation's I walked uphill in the snow to get to school thing. It's like, oh, we had to beat Quackshot. We had to play hard games back in the day. Didn't hold our hands. There were no tutorials and- Man. Okay. Well, no, it's not so much about that, but it's, you know, I feel a lot, of, a lot of games that got marketed as, like, for kids and had, like, kids' characters in them at some point, they all just got real dumb. Right, right. And yeah. just don't give kids any credit. Yep. I remember when I was reviewing games, like, you know, Ice Age and stuff like that, like, it would always be a surprise when I was like, oh, it seems like they put a modicum of effort into this, you know, kids' license game here. Right. Okay. I have two Donalds. I'm getting nervous. Okay, you, 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 you. And then up here, safe. Yeah, like, I remember my uncle, my former uncle Dave was an adult, and he was having trouble with this game a lot, too, so mm. it wasn't just because I was a kid. Okay, so we're going, okay. If I run out of lives, this uh, bombasca is over, Jeff, yep. so. Ah, okay. Is that, oh, this is the one, this is it, yeah, right? Yeah, So okay. if you shoot it from the center, will it, will it stick there? Sure yeah, sounds like sounds it. Like okay, it. that gives me way more time. Pray for Donald, okay. Uh, that's a good, neat little thing at the end. Yeah, yeah. All right. I want to at least get my comeuppance on Pete. Pete. It's a Pete. Bad guy name. Yeah. Donald. <laughs> Damn it. I hope I get a turkey before I have to fight Pete. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. I don't like this guy. Nope. Looks like he has like 14 legs. 
when he runs. Yeah. Okay. Jump. Sleep. <clears throat> oh crap. Oh good, a maze. Hopefully there's turkey in this maze. Is this safe? Ha! Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> I won Donald left, Jeff. That was horse shit. That was complete horse shit. I know this is late game stuff, but ugh. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they made Donald angry now. Yeah. Okay. He's just, he's just <laughs> smoking fuck. people. I hate this guy. Shoot your butt and freeze. Damn it. Okay. Look at the dumb face he makes. Damn. Damn. Okay, so I'm falling here. Yes. Turtle ain't got no duck on him. Damn it. <coughs> there. Ah! Nope. Okay. Oh, crap. Yeah. Elevator action. Yep. Oh boy. Oh man, I love elevator action. <laughs> oh, there's where I died. Ugh. Okay, give me something. Yeah, I'll take your popcorn. Wait, I want to kill you. Yeah. Man, don't waste all your popcorn. You're, yeah, you're... I do need that popcorn. If I'm right, popcorn is useful against Pete. Give me that turkey. Yeah! Oh yeah, this feels good. Oh no. Oh no. Weird bubble butt guy. Yeah, screw it. I just yeah. don't want to deal with yeah. you. Okay, I want to say... Oh dear. Remember the last boss of Chippendale's Rescue Rangers looked like this dude too. He was like a big fat cat in a suit with a cigar. Except for he would like ash on you and that was his attack. Hmm. Okay, I think I really use my popcorn a lot in this fight if I'm right. Cause yeah, he's got henchmen here. I can just straight up murder them, so they're a non-issue. Or maybe... Okay. Oh, 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 the face. Yeah. You're dead. He's ready for a star punch. <laughs> yeah. Durr, 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 durr. <laughs> uh. Yeah, if I remember right, it's just way harder if you don't get rid of his henchmen. They will do a smashy thing on you. Uh, I hate it when they do a smashy uh, thing. Uh, uh. Uh, all right. <clears throat> it's a very robotic looking thing here. Yeah. Sorry, Eggman. It's easy now, look at this. Yeah, I mean, you're just really sticking it to him. Man, Pete sucks. I'm not anywhere near there, Pete. Bonk! You dead? No, oh, I'm gonna shoot you right in the face. Yeah! Be dead. Look at that! Wow. That felt really that cool. That is just... I felt like a really cool guy. You there, are like styling on him now. <laughs> oh, wait, this is bad. No, that's... This is bad. You have, you have made mistakes. You got cocky with Pete. I did. And Pete showed you who's boss. I had a good system going until I wanted to get all yeah. style points on him. Where's Pete? Where's Pete? Okay. <sighs> Come on, Demi. Come on. There we go. Now you're dead, right? Good lord, Pete. No wonder. I bet it's one more. You see that he seemed to really take his time there on that one. That... Uh, yes, he was literally oh, waving yeah. the white flag. And I got the diary back. Okay. Yes. He waved. Oh, that was great. Where do you where do you want me to go? Up here? No? Okay. Can I can I call my nephews? Do I have my nephews? Oh yeah, he didn't kidnap. Yeah, no, you got him back. Okay, I guess I gotta go out. Hopefully Buck Guy's gone. Can't go out. Uh it's like that X-Men game, gotta hit reset. Yeah. Okay. I'm forgetting something here. Do I look at the Viking diary? The map must be dipped in water. When this is done, the location of the real treasure will appear. Hey, let's try dipping in water. Uh, I guess, yeah, do we have any water? Uh, we're gonna find some let's water. Go. Great Duck Treasure Island. 
I mean, if you, if you knew that there was an island called the Great Duck Treasure Island, why not just start there? That's probably where the treasure is. All right, I have two Donalds. This is the last stage. And I remember this is tremendously difficult. I remember, uh, well, I mean, again, it, seven year old me, tremendously difficult. So we'll see. We'll see if I can beat it. Again, once the level. Ah, fuck. Once my lives are gone, it's, it's done. All right. All right, so far, so good. Mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. crazy crap jumps out of there. Ah, oh, this crap. All right. What is that? Snake, no time for that. Nope, sorry, Snake. Uh, okay, I guess we're falling all the way down there. Yep, okay. Oh, I'm probably, probably gonna have to go to the right, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Yep. Okay. Oh, here's the money, money pit. Okay. There's one part in particular that is... Wait, what's gonna happen here? Oh! Do those hurt if I, I think okay. they blow up. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, I think this next part might be the leap of faith. No, not yet. Okay, there's this like total last crusade leap of faith thing that mm. sucks. I'm just gonna try to sprint More up here. Dump spikes. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Is this a game where you feel like you know, like the you just want to show this game to people? Again and again. What do you like, mean? Do you kind of keep coming back to Quackshot and go like, no man, you need to see Quackshot. Yeah, I think it's like not ever, like no one ever talks about it, and I think it just does some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, those guys are total Zelda 2 shield up and down guys. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, like, I feel that way about, there's a Bruce Lee game for the Commodore 64 and huh. a few other platforms, but, and I want to say I've, rec I already have a full playthrough of that on the site, and what it was a one of the things when, when I started going like, eh, we need to find a better way to play old <laughs> games on the site. I was like, that was that was one of the games I was thinking of. Oh, okay. And I just want to play that game again. Yeah, and also it's just like, you, I think everyone has those hidden gems that it was awesome to them back in the day, but no one ever talks about it. And you just kind of want to be able to talk about it and be like, hey, yeah. look at this cool thing. Oh. Like I felt that way about like a Goonies 2. Huh. I don't think I ever played that. Oh, man. It is it is this huge open world adventure. It is has this weird first person Advent, like puzzle element to it that's really strange. Really? Huh. I, I've not you save to... a mermaid. That's, that's cool. It's a sequel to the Goonies. Was the Goonies game good? No. No? Okay. Well, Goonies uh, 2 the, is good. Goonies 1 never came out here. So it was always weird because it just, you know, Goonies 2 came out and you're like, I don't even know, like, what are we what are we talking about, Goonies 2? Is it a sequel? I, I always thought, like, oh, I guess it's like they made a, a game only sequel to the movie. Oh, weird. Or that's what I, that's what it read as to me then, because you know, because uh, the original Goonies game didn't really come out here, at least on the NES. Uh, I think like it was like there's like the Play Choice 10 version was out there if you found it in an arcade, I think. But. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah, that uh, must have passed me by. Oh, jeez. Okay. I have one thing of health left, Jeff. This is a. Uh... This is tough stuff right now. Mm, I feel like you're gotta be, yeah, you gotta be close to this. This is it. So this is, I don't remember this is right after Last Crusade came out with the Leaf of Faith stuff. Look at this shit. Oof. Oh. What? You have to jump and then adjust in midair as you see it. Fuck you! I many times got here and then failed. Yeah. And I don't know if it's one of those games where you get a zero live or if this this might be it. <sighs> okay, next one's up. The next one was the long one, right? I Can you jump out and and then jump back and kind of like use that to gauge where the next one's going to be? I don't like safely tease the other one out and then and then get back like that? I mean, it sure doesn't seem that way, does it? I guess not. <laughs> Fuck. I think it waits till you're at like point of no return before it. <sighs> oh god. Oh fuck you! That, that was it. That was it. The boss is in that room. Oh, it just takes you to the uh, Jeff executive decision. I, 
I need to see the end. Okay. Of this. All right. If, if, if the boss is really in that I, room, I'm almost certain the boss is in that room. Then okay. Then I'll allow it. <sighs> oh, there should have been a fucking block there, right? I'm not that's, alone here. Uh, I mean, I see why you would think that because the pace of the other blocks. But yes. That's just the type of trickery. It's true. They're, they're guarding just, the great duck don't, don't follow this creator, you know, because he, he makes levels that are a little messed up. Right, yeah. I mean, they're guarding the great duck treasure. Don't you know? star they're, this level. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, Jeff, you're going to guess now. Um, what? Okay. Pete is dead. Who is the boss of this game? Who or what? Uh, Shadow Donald. Okay. <laughs> His arch nemesis, Shadow Donald. All right. I wonder if there's one ups anywhere, because I don't remember how much of a, how much of a hard time I'm going to have on this boss. I can't remember if the hardest part was the mm. actual Leap of Faith stuff. Which, that's a real cool part in that movie, where he has to sprinkle the, the sand. Yeah. That whole, like, last part of Last Crusade is just one of the coolest sequences I've ever seen in the movie. I love that. The Jehovah starts with an eye and all that crap. Blades. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it, was, it was cool seeing that puzzle come together. Yeah. That movie is super cool. Fuck that. All right, I'm just glad I don't have to do anything on this. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Wait, oh, yeah. Fuck you, I'm just, oh, I, oh, my popcorn? <laughs> oh no, this is not what I was hoping for. That's gonna make those three stone ducks hard. Do a jump thing so I can just, yeah. Okay. Fuck, all my popcorn's gone. I wonder if I can bubble those ducks. Yeah, okay. Well. Okay, and that only takes away one at a time. <sighs> popcorn's done, no more popcorn. I have to do that fucking jump thing again. Oh, man. This level's hard. Okay. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Uh, okay, switch to bubble. Bubble in your face. Bubble in your face. All right. Oh, well, that eventually worked. You asshole. God, fuck you, duck. God, just jump over him. Yeah, it's scary. They're, it's, Donald doesn't have the best jump. All oh, right, this part. Fuck that! God damn it! I'm gonna have to deal with these flames, and this stupid jump here. This jump is the one that gets me. Okay, now I have to make that perfect jump. Oh god, this is nerve-wracking, Jeff. Okay, all, all right. right. Okay. Trigger this stupid thing. Don't hit the thing up there. Uh... Okay, that's where I need to go. Okay. 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 And hopefully if I die here on these stupid jumps, I'll have three attempts at this. Yeah. Okay. I think I've got it memorized. Those three are equally spaced. This one goes down. Nope. Four equally spaced. Then down, then up, then long. And then that, and then... All right. Okay. And this is the jump, this is right? It. This is it. Just go. Uh, this is it? I, I have two fucking health things. Oh no. Uh, huh. Damn it. Oh, this is, yeah, it's definitely not gonna be this time. When he throws his sword, I think is when I can, I can do some business to him. Once he raises his sword, I think it locks in where he's looking. So now I can get behind him. Oh, but then those fucking blocks. Okay. Yeah. It's just gonna give me. Oh man. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Lock <coughs> him in. Look to the right, dummy. Raise your sword, and I get over here. And then I think if I get under here, I can effectively block that falling crap. And then before the sword gets in his hand, I should be able to get him again. Okay. Probably won't be able to get him again. Like the shaking means that I did damage. Okay, I'll lock it in with him looking to the right. Raise your stupid sword. Okay. I get down here. And I can get a hit in. Maybe. Is he hit? Uh. I don't see. I thought my plunger would normally stick to him. I think. Yeah, I must have hit him. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I okay. mean, he shakes and then he flashes to say, like, hey, you can't hit me yep, yep. anymore. And now he's going to do this again. Okay, I got a good rhythm going. Look to the right, dummy. Raise your sword. Yep. Get down here before the crap falls. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right in the back of your dumb right. head. Okay. All right. Get another one in before the sword comes out. 
Yeah! This is going okay so far. Yeah! I haven't gotten hit once. Lock that stupid crap in. No, uh, maybe, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, walk around a bit. Up this way. All right, gotta get down there quick. Oh, oh. all right. Oh, no. that, that took two? That uh, took two, no, that took scary. one. It took one? Oh yeah, it only starts me with five, doesn't yeah. it, damn. Ugh. I think he takes a decent amount more hits than the other guys. Okay. Oh man, I don't think I made it in time. Yeah. Ugh. So maybe if I can make him take a few steps over here and then look to the left. Or maybe it's a non-issue. It's a non-issue. All right. So what? Okay. What do it's we got? Great duck treasure. Ooh. It's uh, a stone duck lady. Um. Oh, it's a plain stone figurine of a duck princess. And you know what? In the cutscene at the beginning, mm -hmm. Daisy Duck made me promise, like, ah, if you're gonna be gone for so long, you better bring me back something special. I just got a damn rock of another lady. Well, here's that's my not gonna computer. fly back at the. Oh no. Oh, oh God, the missus oh, is gonna be disappointed here. Yeah. All right, boys. So materialistic. Bring it in, boys. Mm. Oh, crap. She's mm. doing the 16-bit pointy yeah, foot thing. No, she's gonna jump off the stage and uh, say time. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. A golden jewel necklace? Congratulations. It was in there all along. Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, and I got a kiss. Travel the ends of the world and carried a giant stone statue in my biplane, but I got a kiss out of it. It's Jeff. all about love. That was what Emerin wanted to say. Yes. Jeff, I just beat Quackshot. Nice. Yeah. Let's look at the look at the people who made this game. That felt good. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to beat it here. Thomas Yuda. Oh man. Just flying over all the stages here. Rice Macarin. Yeah. It's <laughs> a good name. Rice through those rocks. <laughs> uh -huh. For you. Mamonga Momo. The Yama One? Yeah. This is a very classic 16 bit. You mm -hmm. won. Like, let's go through all the areas. Yeah. I, I always love the old Mario style of, like, you know, Mario World. Let's go back through and, like, oh, here's the names of, oh, mm -hmm. his name is Torpedo Ted, I guess. Good going, Bert. Uh, Jackson Yu. Yeah. <laughs> or is that Jackson and Yu, like, the player? Yeah. Jim Simmons. Jim Simmons was the fucking clipboard guy coming and going, nah, it's just, there's not enough Donald in this. While Satman was putting the game together. Yeah. Jim Simmons put Mickey on that blimp. Mm-hmm. He's like, put, put, put Mickey in there somewhere. <laughs> Synergy, we're trying to. <laughs> So you got her a necklace and you're flying her around the world? Yeah, I'm a good boyfriend, Jeff. Like flying around to go like, and then we went here, and then did this, and then I shot plungers yeah. at this. Now that I've gotten this. rid of the danger, I take my lady there, and we okay. just have a nice right. vacation. No, okay. Because I'm an right. awesome boyfriend. Okay. Duck boyfriend. Duck duck friend. Yeah. Man, that felt good. Yeah. I beat the game. All right, take, a, take a picture of your TV, send it into Sega Visions, and we'll see if we can get you in the magazine. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's it. That's the whole damn game. All right. We saw every level. We beat yeah. every boss. Yeah, thanks, Dan. That's yeah. Quackshot. It seems kind of cool. cool. Yeah, seems all right. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up to Quackshot. I, so. see, I see what you're getting at now. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Cool. All so, right. Yeah, thanks for joining me, Jeff. Mm -hmm. See ya.